I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question which is based on modular arithmetic. The question here is, today is Monday. What day is it 3 to the power of 100 days later? We are given five choices here. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now the concept here is that in a week there are seven days, right? So it is a cyclic order of seven days. So out of these seven days, which one is the day which corresponds to three to the power of hundred days later? That is what we need to find. So whenever we have something which is circular in nature, repeating after a fixed interval we can use mod it is also called modular function right now let me take a minute to explain that in this context we know there are seven days in a week so if today is Monday, then after seven days, it is going to be Monday, right? After one day, it will be Tuesday, right? So in a way, it is a cyclic order. We have Monday, right? That is today. After a day, it will be Tuesday, then Wednesday, and then Thursday, then Friday. Then we'll have Saturday, Sunday, and then again Monday, correct? So after one day, it will be Tuesday. After two days, three days, four days, five days, six days, it will be Sunday. And the seventh day, or it is as good as the zero three, right? It is Monday back. So what we can do here is that whatever this number is, which is 3 to the power of 100, we need to divide this number by 7 and find the remainder. That remainder is a value in this particular case, which could be from 0 to 6, right? That is up to 7, but not 7, right? So it is a value from 0 to 6. So there are 7 values possible as a remainder. If you get remainder as, let's say, 7, that means it is zero remainder since we can divide seven further right so mod function does exactly the same thing so if i say three to the power of hundred mod seven it will result into the remainder and so we will get our answer that's the whole idea right so there are so I'll provide you with a link on this. So check link. So let me write down here. Check link for details. But in short, the idea here is that we are going to divide this number by 7 and find what the remainder is. That is the whole idea, right? So let's see how we can do it. 3 to the power of 100 is a very big number. And if you put it in a calculator, it will definitely give you error, right? So you cannot really do this calculation, right? You cannot do 3 to the power of 100 divided by 7, right? You can't do this. You get something to the power of 46, but you don't know what is the remainder in this case. Do you see that? So that really doesn't work. Now, how can we do it? The idea is kind of like this. We need to somehow understand what is 3 to the power of 100. Well, let's begin with 3 to the power of a number which is very close to 7 is 3 to the power of 3. Now, 3 to the power of 3 is 27, correct? Now, see what happens when we divide 27 by 7. So, if 27 is divided by 7, then we could say 
7 times 3 is 21 and we get a remainder which is 6. Correct? So we know that if I am using 27 as my number, remainder is 6. So in this particular calculation, what we get is starting with Monday, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it is Sunday. Do you see that? So, so if it is 3 to the power of 3, we get Sunday. Now, think it the other way. I could also do this. I could divide 27 by 7 4 times. So if I do 4 times, I get 28. And now, if I take away this, I get remainder minus 1. Now, minus 1 means go back one step from Monday, right? So that is minus 1. That is minus 1, which brings you back to Sunday. Since it is a circular repeating pattern, think about it in a circle, right? Like a clock, right? So like a clock after 12, it is 1, right? So it is the same situation. So again, we get the same answer. You get the idea. So what I will say here is that instead of 6, I will use minus 1. Both are same things. They give you the same result. Does it make sense to you? So I am saying that if it is 3 to the power of 3, then the remainder is minus 1. Is it clear? Perfect. Now, with this logic, 3 to the power of 100 can be written as 3 to the power of 3 to the power of what? Uh, well, if I do 33, I get 99. Do you see that? 1, 3 is left. So I can multiply this by 3. So I get all this. So 3 to the power of 100 is as good as 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 33 times 3. Now, the remainder which you get for 3 to the power of 3 is minus 1. So I can substitute this minus 1 here. So I get 33 as an exponent and times 3. Minus 1 to the power of 33 is minus 1, right? And minus 1 times 3 is equal to minus 3. So that means if I am going to divide 3 to the power of 100 by 7, my remainder is minus 3. You get the idea. So minus 3 means this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So for me, minus 3 means Friday. Right? This is minus 1, this is minus 2, and this is minus 3. You can see it the other way. From 7, minus 3 is 4, right? So if you see the other way, which is, if I take away 3 from 7, I get 4. So if you go in the forward direction, it is 4th. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4th. So what we get here is that after 3 to the power of 100 days, it has to be Friday. Do you understand how we got it? So let's go through this calculation once again. The whole idea is that these days are repeating after 7 days and therefore I need to divide this number by 7 and figure out what is the remainder. The day corresponds to the remainder. If the remainder is 1, then the day is Tuesday. If remainder is 2, it is Wednesday. If it is 6, it is Sunday. Now, 6 and minus 1 is one and the same thing since it is a circular repeating function. You get the idea. Minus 1 helps to calculate better, right? That's the whole thing. So what we did was that we took 3 to the power of 100 as 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 33, which is 99 times 3, which is 100. So we have all this as 3 to the power of 100. Now we know that the remainder for 3 to the power of 3 is minus 1, and to the power of 33, it is going to be minus 1. Minus 1 times 3 is minus 3. And if we go back 3 steps, we land up where? We land up on Friday. So that is our answer. Does it make sense to you? So if you understand this mod operation, which is very beautiful to solve such questions, you can actually solve these questions in a minute's time. Perfect. 
So what you need to do is you have to just split this 3 to the power 100 as 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 33 times 3. There you go, minus 1 times this is minus 3. So go back 3 steps, get your answer. Done. So I hope that makes sense, right? So 1, go through this link. Try to understand the concept of modular arithmetic. And I'll provide you with some more examples to help you figure out what could be the unit place or similar examples for such big numbers. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write a comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.